Oh, it was awesome. I had my whole family there, you know, the grandbabies and my mother and my mother-in-law and the whole family was there. And uh, I was very grateful to, to hit it on the night when they were all there. All right, G-Money, Gerard Malone song. Welcome back to Delta Downs for yet another season. How you doing, buddy? We doing good, Mr. Don, real good. Now, this summer at Evangeline, you had the race of a lifetime. You hit 5,000 career wins. We were counting you down at Delta, but you couldn't do it here. You had right. to do it over there. Tell me what that was like. It had to be a thrill. Oh, it was awesome. I had my whole family there, you know, the grandbabies and my mother and my mother-in-law and the whole family was there. and. Uh, I was very grateful to, to hit it on the night when they were all there. It was the last race of the night, right? Last race of the night, and the only mount I had that night, and it was on a Wednesday night, it wasn't on a weekend, and uh, there was a pretty good crowd, and uh, I just, I, I looked at the race over and over, and I, you know, I told my wife, I said, I really believe I'm gonna win it. Uh, my chances are really good, so if not, we'll do it the next night. So, uh, but we got it done for Glenn Delahousie, who's, really good friend of mine for years and uh legend louisiana racing him and his family go back right right yes sir his dad was uh mr junior stella Husi, which was an awesome trainer too so now i watched the race and it wasn't close you were ahead all the way down the lane were you kind of looking over your shoulder and thinking come on come on let's just get it. what was going through your mind that last eighth of a mile yeah pretty much i uh i knew i had one horse to beat and uh i managed to get in front of him early and uh once I got in front of him early, I said, well, he's got to pass where I pass. So I kind of dictated the race, the whole the whole race. You know, I had horse under me. I knew my horse. I'd ridden him a couple of times. And uh, I knew he, he was in the right spot where he could win. And uh, it looked, you know, some of the maiden claiming races come up real easy. Some of them come up real tough. And, and that seemed like a pretty easy spot. And uh, actually, I've come back and ran second on him since then. And uh, but anyhow, it was... Uh, Going through my mind, oh yeah, I was very excited. There's yeah. something like that when you get to 5,000. I mean, it's such a number. So few guys have ever done that. Does it make you look back at your career? I mean, I know you're, what, 54 years old 54, now. 54, yeah. Not going to ride forever. Nobody does. Right, right. Does it make you kind of look back and just appreciate it and go, man, that, I can't believe I've come this far? Yeah, it de definitely does. You know, but all I've been through and, and all my wife's been through with me. And uh, for us to, uh, you know, she's my rock. And, uh, you know, Annette, I heard, people I don't be, know Annette. I, you call Annette. Yes, right. Annette is definitely uh, the backbone of me. And uh, without her, there's no way out of that where I'm at today. Well, know. that, and you got great kids and fantastic grandkids. Yes, sir. You love those grandkids, don't you? And nothing like a grandbaby. No, right I know there. it. Yeah. I know it. We got three now. We just had one a month ago. His name's Brecker. And uh, and his sister's two. She's Isley. That's Jonas's uh, two yeah. babies. And uh, Jonas and Morgan, my son and my daughter in law. And Jansen and Brooke have Emmett, that's five. Yeah. So he was our first. Wow. But, uh, they're both, and they're all spoiled to death, aren't they? Oh, yeah. They both, <laughs> they both stay by the house, right close to the house. Yeah. And uh, they're both like a block away on each side. Yeah. So and we're kind of in the middle. And uh, we have the grandkids. And when it's time to leave to go home, they don't want to leave. Yeah. They want to stay. I bet. So I, they, see, I see them pictures of you on social media, you know, right. laying on the couch, laying in bed yeah. with you, whatever. You know. Yeah, they enjoy they enjoy a sleepover at Pops and Gannis, yeah. that's for sure. Well, one last thing i got to ask you. you got an 84-day meet coming up. You've hit 5,000. You've done about everything there is to do. What, what more is there to do at Delta? Like this season, what's your goals? Uh, I'd like to be in the top five, you know. Uh, i got a great agent, Louis Coco. Uh, Coco keeps me off the bad horses. And, uh, That's so important you know, to have a good uh, agent. I, uh, I I don't really have no set goals, but the top five would be fine with me. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, they have new riders and new trainers. I was going to ask you about that. The young riders. There's a lot of young riders. Do yes, you, you kind of, now at this point in your career, do you kind of try to pass on what you know? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm always there to help a younger rider. You know, any little mistake I see, uh, definitely, I'm over there for them. You know, I let them know that I'm there for them. And, uh, and somebody else will pull a practical joke on, right? Because I know you're a pretty good practical joker yeah. in the room. <laughs> yeah, we like to joke a little bit, yeah. You, you like to have, have fun, fun, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a stressful job on, on all the riders and uh, a lot of ups and downs, you know. I always say this, you know, if you're an excellent rider and winning at 20%, you know, you still lose 80% of the time. So it's a roller coaster. 
you know, took roller coaster. I used to go home at night and beat myself up over a ride and would fight my sleep. But uh, I don't do that very often anymore. You know, uh, I take each race as it comes and uh, I do my homework and uh, I stay in good shape. And uh, homework doesn't end in high school, does it? You right. do it if you're you good started. at anything, you got to do it your whole life, don't you? Exactly. Yeah. Anything, anything you do, no matter how how high you went in school or college, you still have to work. You know? yeah. Consider this not working. Yeah. I mean, I just I love my job. Well, that's like me. It's not a job if you love what you do. Exactly. Right? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Well, Gerard, it's been amazing watching your career. You're still rocking and still winning races. And big 5K came in June, and I could nobody could be happier than me, man. Congratulations. Well, thank you, Mr. Don. I appreciate it. Have a great meet. You too.